Hi, I'm Andrea Marcellus, creator of the And Life fitness app and author of The Way In, Five Winning Strategies to Lose Weight, Get Strong, and Lift Your Life. I'm here to show you today a short workout you can do right here at your kitchen counter or at your desk in your plain clothes. I'm in workout clothes, but you don't need to be. And consistency is the most important factor in staying strong and staying flexible. So start to think of workouts in terms of little short bursts you can do throughout the day or at least once a day to help you strengthen and lengthen rather than thinking of a workout as needing to be a big sweaty mess thing every time. That's actually going to help keep you strong and feeling free in terms of movement for longer without any excess wear and tear on your joints. Okay, let's stand right in front of your sink so you can hang on. And from here, take your feet just about a foot away, roll the shoulders back and down, deep abdominals, hang on to that sink, and we're gonna just squat down just a little bit and then come back up. And the reason we're in this position and holding on to the sink is because there is no pressure on the knees. If my hip is going back and my knees are staying in this 90 degree angle, there's absolutely no pressure. They're not going forward in front of my toes. Nothing's gonna happen here. So take your time and give yourself a moment to warm up and go to just where you can. Let's go five more. Exhale now. If you have the stability for it, take the hands away and stand tall every time. Four, inhale, exhale. Three, but you definitely have to use those hands to lean back or else you fall over, right? <laughs> Two, one more. And now keeping those hands right here, lean back, your long arms, and we're gonna just bounce down. Two. Now you'll start to feel these quadriceps working right away. Your heart rate's going to come up. They're demanding oxygen, and so the heart's going to pump faster. And it's almost like running, but without any running. Here we go. Let's go. Four more. Three, two, hold. Yes, I know it burns. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, come up. Rest. Excellent. Let's just stand here and shift your weight side to side and bring your heel up to your tush. We're going to stretch out the quadricep and as we do that, we're working the hamstring, the back of the leg. Good. Let's go four more. Three, two, now. You're going to hold one leg, put your knee behind the other, and now just lift and lower. So now we're isolating that hamstring. If you can, take one hand away. And if you can, take the other hand away and balance right here. You can keep your hands right here hovering over the counter and if you have to, just hold on. But we're giving yourself a little core stability work, a balance challenge, and we're focusing just on that hamstring, which is never as strong as the quadricep in the front. We wanna to try to keep your muscles balanced so that the knees stay aligned properly. Let's go four more. Three, two, excellent, switch sides. Shake it out. You'll feel these muscles in the back working to hold you up too. And that's so essential to avoiding back pain or healing yourself if you do have a chronic back issue, unfortunately. Keep your abs deep right here, and when you're ready, let's challenge yourself. Take one hand away, and if you can, take the other. If you can be here with your hands on your hips, that's fantastic. If not, let your hands hover right here, or hold onto the counter as lightly as possible. Again, so these postural muscles in the back have to work, and your abs have to stay deep. We get that core stability work. The shoulder blades are sliding down the back, and we're keeping this nice, easy space. Big opening between the bottom of the ear and the top of your shoulder. And rest. Excellent. Okay, let's move on to some lateral movement for our hips for the abductor muscles, the muscles that take your legs away from the midline of the body. So we're going to go back to that little safe squat, the one where we pull the hips back. You actually have to hang on the counter, otherwise the knees would go forward, right? So hips back, stand tall and lift the legs straight up to the side. Now I want you to pay attention to your knees here. Keep your knee facing the counter. Don't let your knee turn open to the ceiling. It's going to want to because this muscle is really strong and it's going to want to take over, but don't let it because we want to feel the back of the leg here and the side, the hip, the muscles that take the leg away from the body, not the quadricep that straightens the knee. Good, here we go. And let's go four more. Inhale, exhale, feel that heart rate coming up again. Three, inhale, exhale, two. And last one, and rest. Good. 
Let's turn the feet out and we're going to work the whole leg in, in rotation right now. So the knees and toes are turned away from the counter and we're going to just cross behind and we're going to drop straight down. Three, two, one. And switch. Stay low. Three, two, one. Stay low. That's what's bringing your heart rate up without any jumping. We're keeping a demand on the muscles in your leg, these big muscles that need oxygen so they can fire. And that's what's keeping your heart rate up right now, even though we're not doing any jumping or fast walking or fast movements. Just stay low and you're going to get that cardio effect out of this. And three, two, one. And one more time. And three, two, one. Hold right here. Take that leg up. And all you're going to do is swing your leg behind. Now, again, keep your knees and toes facing the counter. So we're using the inner thigh to bring your leg across the midline of the body. Good. Pitch your body slightly forward. Your abs are deep. So again, we're still working here and here. Hands are as light as possible on the counter. Cross, cross, two more. Cross, last one. Okay. Okay, now we're going to work your big gluteus maximus muscle. We're going to lift that leg away from the body. So, keeping the knee slightly bent, keep the shape of this leg and just lift and lower. Now you'll instantly feel your abs just kind of want to hang out. Hold them in. And so you can feel how challenging that is. Now, if you can, lift your hands up gently away from the counter and let these postural muscles in the back have to work a little bit harder to hold you here. You can hover. <laughs> it's fine. We'll still get that benefit. As long as you're not just leaning into the counter. The idea is to be as tall as you can as you lift and lower. Let's go four more. Three, two, excellent. Switch. Here we go. Find the other leg and we'll lift and lower. Two, three. Now check in with your abs. Is this space nice and easy? Can you be gentle on the counter here or even lift up? Let's go 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, excellent. Six, five, four, three, two, last one, rest. Good. Let's work your back a little bit. So come back to our favorite position here and you're just going to pull yourself into the counter. Now, if you can, walk your feet a little further in if you feel safe. Elbows out to the side and pull yourself into the counter. Heart rate's really going to come up right now. These legs are working hard to keep you here. Only four more. Hang on. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Breathe. Two. You've got this. Come on. And one more and rest. Whew. Shake it out. <laughs> okay. Last thing here. We're going to do a little push-up against our counter. So we're going to find a plank position. Shift your body weight forward. If this doesn't feel comfortable in your hands, you can grab oven mitts or a dish towel to make that a little more comfortable. Keep your abs deep. Pull your tush in so we're in a nice straight plank. And here we go, isometrics again, which help us elevate our heart rate and get a cardio effect without any sort of jumping or running. So we're going to just hold here. Three, two, one, push up. So this isometric hold is not only going to make you stronger faster, it's going to give you that cardio effect we're looking for. Three, two, one. Because remember, this oxygen flowing through your body, that is what's going to help give you a metabolic boost. And it also is just super energizing. Feel how alive you feel right now. You have energy, even though this is tiring. It's generating energy, right? Energy begets energy. If you're tired, move a little. Three, two, one. And one more. Here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. Let's just do a little stretch. So stand here, your hand on this edge of the sink, and then just pull the rib cage this way. And let's take the arm across. You're going to feel a really fantastic stretch. You can bring it up, breathe, create some space in that rib cage, and then exhale, let it go. Good. We'll turn the other way. So just step away a little bit and then lean your body to the side. Should feel really good. Take the arm across towards your sink. And then take the arm up overhead. Breathe. Let the oxygen expand your rib cage and then let it go and face it. 
Excellent. Right here, one more. Just a deep breath right here. Exhale, shake it out. How's that? You should feel really fantastic. You have now strengthened your entire body and hopefully generated more energy to go forward into your day and do whatever it is fantastic that you want to do.